Folliculitis is a common skin condition that many people experience. Simply put, it is an inflammation of your hair follicles. Hair follicles are tiny pockets found in your skin. Every hair on your body grows from one of these follicles. When these small openings become irritated or infected, folliculitis occurs. This can happen on almost any part of your body where hair grows. The only places you won't find it are the palms of your hands, the soles of your feet and your lips, because these areas do not have hair follicles. Understanding this basic definition is the first step to managing the condition. The most frequent cause of folliculitis is a bacterial infection. Often, the bacteria responsible is Staphylococcus aureus, commonly known as Staph. These bacteria normally live on our skin without causing any harm. However, if hair follicles get damaged, these bacteria can enter and cause an infection. This damage can occur in many ways. Shaving, especially with a dull razor or against the grain, is a common culprit. Tight clothing that rubs against the skin can also create friction and damage follicles. Even excessive sweating can contribute to this problem by creating a moist environment where bacteria thrive. Besides bacteria, other microorganisms can also lead to folliculitis. Fungi, like yeasts, can cause a type of folliculitis often seen on the back and chest. This is sometimes called pityrosporum folliculitis or malassezia folliculitis. Viruses, such as the herpes simplex virus, can also infect hair follicles, though this is less common. Another type, known as hot tub folliculitis, is caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa bacteria. These bacteria can thrive in improperly treated hot tubs and swimming pools. Exposure to contaminated water can lead to an itchy rash a day or two later. Several risk factors can make you more prone to developing folliculitis. Understanding these risks helps in prevention. The symptoms of folliculitis can vary depending on the type and severity. Common signs include small red bumps or white-headed pimples around hair follicles. Each bump may have a hair at its center, though this isn't always visible. These bumps can appear suddenly and may look like a rash. They can occur as a single lesion or in clusters. Any part of the body with hair can be affected, commonly the scalp, face, neck, armpits, groin, back, chest, and legs. Folliculitis often comes with itching and discomfort. Some people experience tenderness or pain when touched. In some cases, the bumps can become filled with pus. Recognizing these signs is key to deciding if self-care or a visit to a healthcare professional is necessary. When you visit a healthcare professional for suspected folliculitis, they will start by asking about your medical history. This includes questions about your symptoms and any treatments you've tried. They will inquire about your lifestyle habits and any existing medical conditions. Next, your doctor will perform a physical examination of your skin. They will carefully look at the affected areas, noting the appearance and distribution of the bumps. The doctor might use a dermatoscope to get a closer look at your skin and hair follicles. In some cases, further tests may be needed if the folliculitis is severe or recurrent. Section 5. Soothing at home effective home remedies for mild folliculitis. For mild cases of folliculitis, several home remedies and self-care measures can provide relief and help clear up the inflammation. One of the simplest yet most effective approaches is applying warm compresses to the affected area. You can do this by soaking a clean washcloth in warm water, wringing it out, and then placing it on the skin for about 15 to 20 minutes. Repeat this several times a day. The warmth can help soothe and reduce inflammation, and it may also encourage pus-filled bumps to drain naturally. Keeping the affected skin clean is also very important. Wash the area gently twice a day with an antibacterial soap or a mild cleanser. Avoid scrubbing vigorously as this can further irritate the inflamed follicles. After washing, pat the skin dry with a clean towel. Do not share towels, razors, or washcloths with others as this can spread bacteria. Wearing loose-fitting, breathable clothing made from natural fibers like cotton can also help. This reduces friction and allows air to circulate, keeping the skin drier and less prone to irritation. If your symptoms don't improve within a few days of home care, or if they worsen, it's important to consult a healthcare professional for further advice. Section 6. When to see a doctor. Medical treatments for persistent folliculitis. 
While many cases of folliculitis resolve with home care, there are times when seeing a doctor is necessary. If your folliculitis is widespread, very painful, or doesn't improve after a week or two of self-treatment, it's time to seek professional medical advice. You should also see a doctor if you develop a fever or if the bumps become large, swollen, and extremely tender, as these could be signs of a more serious infection like a boil or carbuncle. Recurrent folliculitis, where it keeps coming back despite your best efforts, also warrants a doctor's visit to identify underlying causes. For bacterial folliculitis, your doctor may prescribe topical antibiotics. These are creams, gels, or lotions that you apply directly to the affected skin. Common examples include clindamycin or muparosin. These medications work by killing the bacteria causing the infection. For more extensive or deeper infections, oral antibiotics might be necessary. These are pills that you take by mouth, allowing the medication to work throughout your body. Your doctor will choose the antibiotic based on the likely type of bacteria and the severity of your infection. It's crucial to complete the full course of antibiotics as prescribed, even if your skin starts looking better. Section 7. Keeping it away. Practical tips for preventing folliculitis. Preventing folliculitis often involves adopting good skin hygiene and making some simple lifestyle adjustments. One of the most important steps is to practice gentle skin care. Avoid harsh soaps or cleansers that can strip your skin of its natural oils and disrupt its protective barrier. When you bathe or shower, use lukewarm water instead of hot water, as hot water can dry out and irritate your skin. After washing, pat your skin dry gently with a clean towel. Avoid rubbing your skin too hard, especially in areas prone to irritation or where you frequently shave. If you shave, adopting proper shaving techniques can significantly reduce your risk of folliculitis. Always use a sharp, clean razor blade. Consider using a single-blade razor or an electric razor, which may be less irritating than multi-blade razors. Shave in the direction of hair growth, not against it. Before shaving, wet your skin and hair with warm water and use a lubricating shaving cream or gel. After shaving, rinse your skin thoroughly and apply a soothing aftershave lotion or moisturizer. Replace your razor blades regularly or clean your electric razor after each use. Section 8. Beyond the Basics – Understanding Different Types of Folliculitis Folliculitis is not a one-size-fits-all condition. It actually encompasses several distinct types, each with its own specific cause and sometimes unique appearance. One common form is known as Staphylococcus folliculitis, caused by staph bacteria. This type often presents as itchy, white, pus-filled bumps and can occur anywhere on the body where hair follicles exist. It's the kind frequently associated with shaving mix or skin abrasions that allow bacteria to enter. Proper hygiene and wound care are key in preventing this very prevalent form of folliculitis. Another well-known variant is Pseudomonas folliculitis, often referred to as hot tub folliculitis. This type is caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa bacteria, which thrive in warm, wet environments like poorly maintained hot tubs, whirlpools, and even contaminated swimming pools. The rash typically appears as itchy, red, round bumps that may develop into small pustules. It usually shows up 12 to 48 hours after exposure and is often more pronounced in areas covered by a swimsuit, where contaminated water was trapped against the skin for longer periods. Section 9. Your Skin's Best Friend, A Summary and Embracing Healthy Skin Habits In summary, folliculitis is an inflammation of the hair follicles, often appearing as small red bumps or pimples. It can be caused by bacteria, fungi, viruses, or even physical irritation. While generally not serious, it can cause discomfort like itching or soreness. Recognizing the symptoms early, such as clusters of bumps around hair follicles, is important for timely management. Diagnosis usually involves a physical examination by a doctor, and sometimes tests like skin swabs or biopsies are needed to identify the exact cause especially for persistent or severe cases. Many mild cases of folliculitis can be effectively managed at home with simple measures. Warm compresses, gentle cleansing with antibacterial soap, and wearing loose clothing can provide significant relief. Over-the-counter creams may also help reduce inflammation and itching. However, if home care doesn't improve the condition, or if symptoms worsen or become severe, seeking medical attention is crucial. 
doctors can prescribe topical or oral antibiotics for bacterial infections or antifungal medications for fungal folliculitis, ensuring targeted and effective treatment for your specific situation. Prevention plays a vital role in dealing with folliculitis.